Hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 23 of 7 Days to Die. Now you may be wondering why I'm holding a book. Well, this book is the treasure map that we've had for at least a couple episodes now, so we're going to be using it, figuring out where the treasure's going to be. It's to the east. Okay. I always get a little... Oh, duh. I'm looking to the west. How far east? Okay, so it's in the snow biome a little bit. That's not too bad. It's actually not too far, really. But I do have some more meat. I want to see if I'm hungry, I can eat it. Yep. Because I want to try and get our health and wellness back up as high as we can get it. We were at 90 before, so that would be nice to keep that up. And I'm not pulling it out of the campfire again because I'm just lazy. And I just really don't need to worry about that. So we're going to do some more... I'm going to get this stuff crafting down. And when the mini bike fills up, I'm just going to come home, drop some stuff off. And we're going to do with that. I did sort through a whole bunch of shit before. We got the cement mixer crafting out some cement, which we do need to pick up some stone today. So as much stone as we can get our hands on, that's going to be the name of the game. Which I know yesterday we went for a lot of clay and we only got 300 pieces of it, but hopefully we'll be able to get more stone because we can break up a whole bunch of shit. But I want to try and get some more stuff done today as we go through this treasure chest. We're probably going to get some good amount of dirt and all that. But I want to try and get some, uh, because we got to make fertilizer as well, which I don't know if we have the recipe to do it, but you can do it in the cement mixer, I believe. You, make cement, you can either do it there or the chem station, which we don't have the chem station yet. So we can't do it there, but I think the chem station is the way to do it the cheapest, if I'm not mistaken, because you can use the rotten flesh instead of, um, or no, you can use, like, human turds instead of, uh, rotten flesh or something like that. One of them uses human turds, the other uses rotten flesh. And the one that uses the rotten flesh, I believe, is the cheapest. Because you save like 10 to 15 pieces of nitrate powder and dirt just by doing that. Which you can obviously turn into more fertilizer. So, you gotta take every win where you can. So, we'll push over to this chest, which I imagine I should be able to follow the road here for a while. I might just break up that rock here that we're passing and use that as my uh, my good amount of shit. So, probably just use whatever we're stowing yet, but probably, <clears throat> sorry, well, it's a little raspy, but yeah. It's a little early for me waking up, so definitely an interesting time, which I know, even though, even you know, we're not even monetized, so I'm not totally worried about saying it, but since I know we've had the whole COVID quarantine, you know, every, well, for the most part, people have been saying, oh, I know schools are opening up now, at least for, like, uh, where... Because I know where I'm at, I think schools are back in session. I haven't, I know college is anyway back in session. Because I'm currently in... Because I'm in college right now, so... Clearly, I know at least that. But I, don't, I know high schools are starting to open back up. So... That's definitely something interesting, which... I want to see how you guys are taking school right now. Because, like, I know... Some people I know... Most people I know are in either college or... Like some sort of like high school I should have left the cobblestone and cement back at home. That's unfortunate. But or the cobblestone rocks and the extra cement that I've got on me, but eh, live and learn. But I wanna see how you guys are kinda of faring with, you know, life during quarantine. We've been in quarantine now for almost six months, like it's since March. So we've been here for quite a while. Definitely an interesting time, and speaking of interesting times, we get hit with a blizzard. Oh, this is going to make digging for that chest an absolute nightmare. And I also want to make sure I'm careful when I'm driving through this place, since I can't see. One, I don't want to be ambushed by zombies, and two, I don't want to just drive off a cliff and end up with the bike in the water again, which wouldn't be terrible, because we can just pick up the bike and fix it, but, or, like, not fix it, but... Like, take it apart, put it back together again. I just hate these blizzards because they really can just fuck you up. And also, I don't know if anybody noticed in the last episode, I believe, but I did find some green shorts that I just put on my character, you know, so we're, mainly so we're not just driving around in our underwear anymore. That was the only real reason I did that. So. That was just a mountain. I thought we were going to the wasteland, and I was like, wait, what? It's very soon. Like, didn't expect that. But I am nervous because we are driving up the side of a mountain right now, so just make watch it's up here. 
The chest is seriously up there. Are you fucking kidding me? I gotta dig five tiles down on the top of the mountain. Really? Right here is where we're gonna seriously have to put this treasure chest? <sighs> Shit. Well, it also doesn't help the fact that you get the snow here. Is all of this snow? Oh, wow, shit. All of this is snow. So I don't even know where the dirt, like, begins. Or is this whole thing just... Oh, now we're in the dirt. Oh, great. The joy of being in the snow biome is that everything is hell. Yeah, we're, we literally hit, like, one tile of dirt. Oh, this is gonna suck. If you guys thought digging in normal shit was fun, try digging in the snow, because it's literally worthless. And I can't even make another shovel, because I don't have plant fiber, so I need to start, like, considering how to get out of here. Okay, so I can get out through here. Because I mainly need plant fibers. So let me get few of these. Actually, I might have enough with the four? How much do I need for a stone shovel? I'm also... Oh, I'm out of stone. Okay, I have enough plant fibers. That's good. I need stone. Huh, convenient that I wanted to go find stones today, huh? Oh, is that another one back here? Or is that just the same one? It might have been the same one. Oh, we got some rocks right here so I can break these up. A little earlier than I wanted to, but... Take what we can get.
took too goddamn long. Can I get into it? You gonna let me into a game? Can I dig out the right tiles? Can I get to it yet? Oh my god. I am so overjoyed that we just found this. All that 762 and a very sizable amount of coin for this trip to hell. Get out of here. I'm digging a fucking straight path out. This is all snow. Well, okay, mostly snow. We were hitting, like, everything else. Like, we hit so many different shit. While was, like, while I was down there, we hit so, like, just the sheer fucking magnitude of the area we had to dig in. It's already, like, hour 16, so I burned the entire day fucking trying to get this one chest. Just this. Like, nothing else. Just, like, look how much dirt we have. The nitrate powder. We picked up fucking clay stone. Don't need these plant fibers. We got raw iron. We got a shit ton of snow. Like. And it's still in the middle of this blizzard. We're starting to freeze, too, so that's. Like, hypothermia is probably going to set it for a minute. Oh, hey, Lumberjack. Hi, Lumberjack. Oh, my God. I just want to go home. I don't even want to fucking deal with anything else right now. Like. That was agonizing. Like, I'll, like, honestly, I probably sped through most of that if I even show it. Like, that was so much. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. How did I know? Because I just had a gut feeling. That something had to go wrong. Shit. Okay, I don't need the sham. I don't need the sky. What sucks is I need to get the bikes. I can't exactly, like, just... I took damage. Why? Oh, probably because I'm freezing. Like, I'm 80%, 87% soaked. Yeah, I'm starting to take some damage from that. Oh, shit. Campfire or die. Okay, hang on, hold on. We're getting the campfire built right now. I'm not dying to hypothermia. on this campfire. Start heating up. <sighs> okay. We're still taking damage, which doesn't help, but I'm gonna cook chest and try and score a bunch of our excess shit. Like, for right now, I just want to get enough so I can grab a bike. Fire's gonna be going for a while, so we're good there. Okay, that's everything except the chassis. Okay, let me take a painkiller real quick, try to top us up a little. Try and give us a little bit of health. Take this. Okay, let's get up to here. Because if anything, what I want to do is try to, like, I gotta build the mini bike again. <laughs> oh, shit. I knew there was gonna be a lake. How did I know? Because there's always a fucking lake. And for some reason, I can't place the fucking chest. Okay, let's just some bullshit. Like, now I gotta warm my character up. Like, he's fucking freezing to death. Okay, toss all this fuel back in here. Did we lose fuel? I thought we were higher up than that. I guess we were low. I don't know. Okay. Throw as much of our shit back in this bike as we can right now. Oh, not the iron. Keep the iron on me. 
Everything else is getting tossed into here. Fucking hell. Alright, and we have no food. So that's fun. Uh, I can eat the honey, but I'm not going to because it's dumb. Okay, what's fighting? What's fighting? Infected. Okay. Bleeding out. Awesome. Well, now I have to eat the honey, so. Didn't want to, but now I have to. And still good. Okay. I kind of panicked with the shotgun just because I had to or I was going to die. Okay. Top the shotty back up. We're still sensed, which doesn't help. Take the wood out of here. I can't turn you on, but I'm gonna turn you back on. Okay. Let's just start trying to run back home. Because right now, we are not even risking any more shit. That's why I hate Blizzard, because it will literally just fucking kill you for no reason. And the fact that that lake showed up. I mean, granted, yeah, we probably knew the lake was here, but. Still does not help anything. Like, I'm literally trying to just run so we can get back into the town. And I'm hungry, so I'm gonna probably be taking damage from that too. Uh, the deer. Here we go. If anything, I'm gonna use the deer and just eat the raw meat. I'm taking a med kit. I don't even care. Oh, this literally just gives fullness. Okay, shit. There's, I mean, there's a good chance of food poisoning, but you know what? Food poisoning just drains our stamina. It's not bad. I need to eat. I don't starve to death. There we go. Let's do that. I don't even care that I have enough to slowly do it. I'm just gonna fucking shove the food in my face. Stamina doesn't matter on the mini bike because you're literally just driving. Oh, gotta get us home. Let's probably get us home and then I don't even know what gets rid of food poisoning or just goes on its own. Alright, you're the road. Okay, just follow the road. And my max health and wellness just dropped. Of course. I'm probably still taking damage because I have a thermia. Desert should hopefully warm us up a little. Because we are here now. Which home is that way? You know what? We're just gonna cut through. Like I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna just start up the campfire and just go from there. Yeah, our health and wellness is dropping. Oh boy, that's not good. And a cactus doesn't help either. Oh, this is the school. Okay. Close. We are super duper close to getting home. Cactus, out of my way. Yeah, we are right near home, so we're doing it in decent shape here. Should be alright. Assuming this hypothermia doesn't just kick it up a notch and kill me. Which, actually, just to be safe, pop it up, painkiller. I'm not even risking it. Like, at least if I can mildly counteract the damage I'm taking, that's good enough for me. I think I'm slowly beating it. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna get home and crank it up the campfire. And we're just gonna chill with that. Yeah, because we're starting to take a hit on at all of our stats. I love how we're in the fucking desert. We're still freezing to death. Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah, let's get in here. Uh, let me turn you on. Yeah, 
I'm starting to grill meat, try and get some health and stamina back. We need a ton of food, so might as well. Like my hydration is temporarily shot, but you know what? I can live with that. Oh wow, we're actually like surpassing the amount of shit we just dealt with. Okay, we are alive. We have all of our shit basically soaking wet. Whew, but we lived. How? I have no idea. We should have been dead. Like, for all intents and purposes, we should be dead. There is like zero ways we should have survived any of this. But we did, and we accomplished absolutely nothing today. Because all we fucking did was manage to fucking do nothing. Like, we literally did nothing. We just existed, basically. So while I have that going, I'm gonna take a stack of meat and I'm just gonna cook it. Actually, let me get some bacon and eggs on, too. Like, I'm going to turn everything else into charred meat, but I'm going to get some bacon and eggs on. You can literally do one. Okay, uh, grilled meat, that's what we've been doing, right? Did you are grilled? Yeah. All you on for that. Okay. We're warming up. We're getting there. We're slowly making our way back. I'll probably be tonight just trying to fight to survive. Need more lead in there. Don't need more iron in there. Turn you on so we can start. Oh, I have no fuel in there, too. Ah. Forgot I burned everything, apparently. Alright, here in there. That's good. Whew. We lived. How? Sheer dumb luck. Like, there is no reason we are alive. And, of course, this is too far from the fire to actually qualify for it, so. Yeah, we love that. I'm trying to stay, like, as close to the, the forge as I can. Which I can probably set up here, right? Yeah, can I reach the food box now? Damn it, the food box is, like, just too far away from the campfire. You will even only get to it at all. I'll probably toss the snow. Honestly, I can make a bunch of snow. Like, turn the snow into murky... In the, turn the snow and these empties into friggin' bottles of water. And we would be set life. Right, let me get the puffer coat and these, gen these denim jeans. There we go. That should help us a bit. I'm pretty sure it's mainly our clothes are soaked. Probably should get some like actual chest armor and stuff too. That would probably help us out a lot. Alright, let me put the sand in the Chem station, or not the chem station, the, the here. I'm gonna basically just put all of the shit we've been making from the cement mixer into it. Nope, get off the bike. We also need to get gas. Tomorrow is going to be a gas and go day. But let me also check if I can make fertilizer in here, which we should be able to. I was hoping we'd be just close enough to do it. Uh, yeah, rotting flesh, nitrate powder, and chem fragments. Okay, we need the fertilizer to start an actual garden. Let me grab the stuff we can for that. Rotting flesh, nitrate powder, and the dirt. Start crafting out a bunch of that. I'm not even going to bother going anywhere tonight, because it's not going to benefit us at all. Oh, that's going to take forever. Damn, that takes a minute and a half. Okay. We're going to be dealing with that for a while. I think the chem station is definitely the better way to go for getting it, because I think the chem station also does it quicker. I could be wrong, but I'm also like 90% certain that's how it goes. Damn, that's uh, very costly in terms of time, so not too sure how I feel about that. I'll take the concrete mix and the, cement and the sand out of there. I'm going to put all that stuff in here, honestly. Like, the cement mixer stuff, plus our trader's gear. How we 
survived today, I have no idea. Like, right now, all I'm doing is just making as much food as I can. I mean, we don't need any of this, really. Like, or this much of it. But I'm just doing it so that way... I'd rather have too much food than too little. So... Do we have any skill points? I think we, oh, we didn't even level up today. Shit. How much XP do I need to level up? This is so whack. We didn't even level up. Like, we went through all that shit. So these challenges are going to become way more important then. Oh, I need to kill one more cop. Okay. And how many pigs we got to kill? We need one more pig killed. Okay, and that gives us another one, so that's not too yeah, no shit, this is insane, because you literally need to find Screamer Zombies to begin with. Which I don't think they show up until, like, the late, late hordes, so... I have no idea how that's gonna play out. But I think, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this episode up here, because today was basically useless. Day 23 was a day that you could probably just skip and not even acknowledge anything, because all we did was dig for a chest. And that took way too goddamn long. I'm going to get up out of here, guys. If you want to do YouTube stuff down below, it does help us help me out quite a bit. If you wouldn't mind doing all that stuff. If you want to, I'm not going to force you to. But if you want to go further down in the description there, you can check the link to the Google form. If you want to fill out some questions in there, do you want to have me answer in one of these upcoming sessions, I will gladly do that. If you want to check out the link to the Twitch channel down there, I do stream on there fairly regularly, so give that a follow if you want. Go check out the Twitter, Discord, more ways to stay notified about everything that goes on with the channel. All that good stuff. But with that, guys, I'm going to get up out of here, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.